in the history of old school retro football shirts, there's been some absolute classics. Some others, maybe not so. Shameful. Some of the retro shirts out and about in the footballing world are, to put it mildly, sh so I thought I would travel far and wide to find and buy all of the worst football kits in history. Before we get started, want to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Pouch. They made this video possible and I'll explain a little bit more about them later on. Alright, now the approach that I've taken for this video is to just search for like lists or websites that show the absolute worst football kits in human history. I'll take you through these and then I'll try and actually find them somewhere on the internet because I realise some of these are going to be quite rare. Like for example, I I highly doubt 1860 Munich's 2010 150th anniversary kit is going to be kicking about on eBay. Ah, now, this Barcelona away kit. I remember this one. This is from, like, the mid-90s. It's got, like, you know when an in a manager's giving an interview, right? Nah, but seriously, it looks like fucking shit. It's that kind of design in the background where, like, the sponsors are, like, patched onto it. It's, it's actually really bad. I don't think I deeped out. I think I just saw R9 in it and was like, well, it has to be good. Bruv, this is actually a tea towel. Like, no word of a lie, your nan owns this. You know that little biscuit box, yeah, that you open up when you're like seven because you think that it's actually got biscuits in? But no, it's knitting supplies. Your nan doesn't, this isn't even your nan's house. Your nan's knitting supplies are in your own abode. This is where this is kept as well. And it's sponsored by Nobbo. I didn't even clock that at the time. Oh, now this is a stonker. Any kit, right, that has a gradient on it, I want it put in the bin set on fire, rolled down the hill in, a, in another bin that's also on fire. This can't run, fam. It, this looks like one of them, like, lollipops that you get in the summertime. Like, I've gone to Italy and picked up lemon sorbet that looks exactly like this kit. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Did two different designers make this and then meet in the middle of the shirt? What's going on here? Somebody, right, got the wrong email address for one of the designers and was like, it was this rainbow team from flipping Denmark or saying accidentally one of the designers thought they were making a kit for them and they just were like well we've run out of material now lads sort out the invoice mate well they'll cross that bridge when they get there you know what's actually pissing me off even more you know the blue on the left doesn't even match the blue in the rainbow you could have at least oh this is the classic Celtic 91 but if we're being truly honest here it looks like there's mold that's grown on like a carpet on the top half of it they've tried to save it by like suggesting that the people are sponsoring. The people don't want anything to do with this. Nah, you're taking the piss now. You're taking- What are we doing here? Flip pistols at dawn? What kind of this town ain't big enough for the both of us shit is this? The thing has frills on it. This is a cushion, fam. This is a set of curtains that your nan has. Again, Colorado. Yeah, this, this had to be something American. This Chelsea away kit is a shocker as well. I don't think you can make a grey football kit. Surely, you know, like, 90s fashion was, like, kind of a bit mad. Like, even back then, some of the people in the 90s were like, like, okay, let's not. The reason they've made it is sponsored by a cause. So for those that don't know, that's a beer company. Whoever designed this had had too many of those bottles of beers before getting started. Now, buying some of these tragic kits has been somewhat expensive, which is why today's video is sponsored by Pouch. Pouch is a free desktop browser extension that automatically finds and then applies codes to get you discounts for your shopping online. So picture this. I'm sat surfing the web, yeah? I'm trying to grab some new football boots from Adidas because because I'm ready to overcome the catastrophic knee injury. I go to check out, but hang on a second. Pouch automatically pops up and gets me £25.50 off. That's 30% as a discount. And you can use the discounts that it provides you to buy football kits that don't look like your uncle's rod. Because Pouch works on over 3,000 UK sites, including Adidas, JD, and in the fitness sector, the likes of MyProtein. You might not always find a code, but not to worry. You can still earn points from participating retailers and use those points for gift cards. It's so easy and simple to install as well. Just a few clicks and then you pin it to your desktop browser. So head on down into the description to go and install Pouch for free right now. There's literally no reason not to do it. Like, le genuinely not. Like, this actually, genuinely, I might actually have a stroke. You know when you're just trying too hard? Yeah, like, you're Huddersfield, innit? There's, there's actually no re- Like, there's no imports or exports from Huddersfield, yeah? There's no landmarks, there's no, like, rivers, there's- They're still doing up, like, 
chicken farming up there. Like, Aussie, lads. No, no, no. England actually has a lot to answer for when you think about it. I mean, we've done a lot in history. Imperialism is, is only like two steps on the ladder up from this whole kit. Malaysia's kit from 2011, apart from looking as if you've been run over by a tire or like a, like a parking ticket, to be honest with you. The whole kit needs a parking ticket. The Nike badge or logo isn't even in a good definition. That is in 144p. That's been attached to the kit using a Nintendo DS, bro. Yeah, look, I, I'd already bookmarked this one as one that I was I was actually going to get. Both Norwich and Peterborough, yeah, you just need to, like, loud this one. Both of you need to. I know this is Norwich's kit, but Peterborough, you've been associated with it as well. Your building society, I want you to unbuild this kit. Fucking hell, mate. Uh, is this a rug? Stop taking things from my nan's house. Stoke here deciding that they were going to use word art for one of their kits. Just in case they forgot which team they played for as well. So as you can see in the background, I'll be searching and trying to buy all the ones I can find. I realize some of the ones I've talked about are going to be a little bit difficult to find because they're extremely obscure from very obscure teams. But the ones that I can find, I'm going to buy and and we'll wait for them to arrive. We just there test that this is working. Yo, like, what we say, him fam? Fucking, I'll bop you out. All right, so all of the terrible shirts that I've been able to actually find online, I have ordered and have arrived. I think a few have been lost in the post. I'm not even gonna lie. We're gonna go through these now. A beautiful assistant, Arav, here with me Ooh. behind the camera. He's he's ready and excited to be gifted the shirt. Oh, hey. oh, I, I wasn't in the <laughs> script. He wanted an invoice of actual like financial yeah. compensation. Yeah, well, because the last time I filmed for you, about two years ago, yeah. where was the where was oh, the Oh, yeah, then? you see what's mad about that? Obviously, like, fucking <laughs> inflation. Right, right. We're going we're gonna to start off pretty tame, I think, in terms of the shit ones. It's, it's quite a well-known one as well. We've got a Barcelona away kit here that looks like a Solero ice cream. Oh, this look is classic. Look at that. To be fair, the gradient is done a bit better when you look at it in detail, as you can see. It's got, some nice detail, it's, 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 it's got, it's got okay detail. It's just yellow and orange, fam. It looks like a fucking- Calippo. It, it, it looks like a Calippo, bro. It looks like sorbet. The graphic design is passion was doing yeah. this. Just pass on. <laughs> You're gonna love this one. This one's oh, awesome. no. This Now this is, this hails from a town that myself and Arrow have an unusual connection to, given friends that we have in, in the real world. Oh no. If you were playing for a team and you kind of forgot who you were playing for halfway through, what better way to help remind you than having the name of the town on the kit? Look at that, it's Word Art Football Club. We've gone from the, the endless money, I mean, well, actually I was about to say endless money in Barcelona, they have six pounds 50 right now. These lot, humble, like some VHS tape effect going on here. I don't know, there's like static. Have you ever seen a football <laughs> kit with static on? It's got a drop shadow in white. Don't piss me off, man. Stoke. Have a word That's word art drop shot. That is um, Arab, this is gonna go directly to you. Oh, lovely. Oh, this is so much worse than when I ordered it. It's VHS again. Like, this is actual VHS static again. Look at this as well, like, it, it's cut in half. So we've got, like, the sort of design up here with just random lines crossing. Talk to me, Arif. What are you saying? I'm speechless. I, I, I'm speechless. This might be the worst <laughs> colour palette of all of history. They've left room for a sponsor. No sponsor wants to be associated. <laughs> <laughs> this line's actually meant for a sponsor. Yeah, there's meant out. to be something there, but <laughs> every company saw the actual game was like, are you mad? No way. This is a genuine We've stinker. Got TV static, yeah. corrugated iron. With, oh, and these orange And then lines. these random shoulder yeah, straps. So I didn't realise them i actually found genuinely i can't believe this exists right this is this is the return back to barcelona <laughs> oh my god <laughs> fucking hell the detail i love the way they've got barca and then the kappa logo there's the design of like you know repeating yourself the tape on the side yeah and yeah, then yeah. What they've done here it's too big as well like it doesn't 
You know, when you do those patterns, it has to be like subtle. They've just written Barca like five times down the front and been like, well, fuck it, that's abstract. This is annoying me greatly. This line needs to be in the middle. Yeah, no, yeah, I hear that. I didn't even think. Honestly, there's probably about 26 lines on this shirt. I don't understand a single one of them. I preferred the way Stoke did it. Hard workers get to the point, just one big bam, word. Stoke. You play for us now, nah, kid. We're leaving the Norwich one as the final, the, the grand finale. You, you might actually appreciate this one, Arrow. Manchester oh United. We're back to it looking like a VHS TV static. You've not paid for your TV license properly and you're using one of them knockoff skyboxes from back in the day. Sir Alex Ferguson, he changed the kit at half time because they were playing so badly against Southampton. He was like, you know what? No. It's the shirt's fault. I Again, can see why. we've got the two shirts in one situation. The back doesn't have that. What's the point? Uh, why have that at the front? The dark grey, if you're not going to have it on the back. There's no... There's no passion, there's no commitment. <laughs> this is real, real stinky. Do you reckon this is worse than the Chelsea kit though? In the Battle of the Great? <laughs> I think, I think the Chelsea- Just Chel as a comparison. Yeah, there. yeah, let's see them side by side. Yeah. It, I mean, it looks like they put one the other, it's just the other one through a fax machine. Mm -hmm. And they've already both been put through a bad fax machine before they got put into the second one to become the other one. All in all, pretty bad, but it's not as bad as our final kit. We're going over to Norwich for this one, somewhere that no man will ever want to go. Are you ready? <laughs> no, oh no, I've just seen a preview. Norwich, unknown season, but definitely in the 90s based on the design. <laughs> <laughs> From the, the green to the, to the other patch of green, this patch of green. It's well, like I a like bad like Hawaiian shirt. Well, if that this, means you can wear it out on a what are, you trying to, what are you trying to suggest? All the other ones are actually just generally terrible, whereas this one is both terrible and like lovable at the same time. But lovable in a way where you want to just like burn it. Do you know what I mean? Like, is that something that you do to loved ones or? I mean, if if that's what you want to or is that, go with, that maybe that, we need to talk after the video about what do you it. Mean? Then. <laughs> that, is that not something that people yeah, do? No. <laughs> It's kind of mad still. <laughs> it's annoying actually, because I had a, a Celtic one, but it's got lost in the post, which is a shame. But the, the gang at home will have seen it in the first half of this video. If you did enjoy though, like and subscribe. Let me know which is the worst kit down in the comment section below. I, I think it's the, it's the Chelsea kit. But yeah, like and subscribe. Shouts to Arab. His link is down in the description below as well. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Adios. Oosh. Right, so we should put this on our dining table, right? Oh, oh, look at that, look at that, Artistiacs! <laughs> <laughs>